What's up, YouTube? This video is brought to you by Webull. If you'd like to help out the channel and get some free stock, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris saying that today's video is a weekend update on Sheba Anu, as well as some easy money plays to make sure we get into the bag come Monday morning, okay, guys? But hey, listen, if I helped you out in any way, would I was help you make some money or give you a new perspective on the stock market, please make sure you like and subscribe and join us on the journey without further ado. Let's take a look at my portfolio. Okay, guys, I wanna start off by saying good morning. Listen, go ahead and grab a cup of coffee. If you already have one cup, go ahead and get you another cup or warm up your first cup. Grab a cup of tea. Hang out with your boy this morning as we talk about some easy money plays for the day. She put new in the whole nine, guys. Then I have a word of the day for you as well to get you on your Saturday morning. Listen, guys, we had another phenomenal week in the market. If you haven't already, please make sure you join us with our weekly options, sign up down at the link below, go to my website for the weekly option plays, okay? I send those out every Sunday night, beginning at nine o'clock. So sometime between nine and 9.30, 10 o'clock-ish at the latest, you guys will be getting those in your email. So make sure you partake in those so we can knock them off the park another week, okay? But listen guys, today, really quick update on Shiba Inu. Again, over the course of the night, still trucking higher okay still trying to hold and do his thing in the low 60s listen at the time of this recording i told you guys i want you to look at the runs that it may have throughout the weekend okay or just look at the strength it may show throughout the weekend you guys want to be looking for positive signs that you see okay and in addition to that guys really quickly and this is going to be our word of the day shortly but i want to talk to you guys about the importance of dollar cost averaging the acronym for that is dca okay that means some of you at times need to be buying this at 58 cent buying this at 52 cent buying this at 46 cent and then you slowly build out your position not going all in at once that's what you don't want to do don't ever put all your money in at one time thinking this from that price, it's just gonna shoot up. That's not how the game go. That's not how stocks work. That's not how crypto works, okay? You want to, as I often say, try to buy on a dip. Find where the support is at, okay? And then you want to kind of build out from there. What that do overall is it minimizes your risk, okay? It keeps you from being all in at a high price and then now you got a boo-boo face or you feel mad or demoralized when you bought at 88 and now it's currently and consistently sitting at 61 which is an indicator where you kind of should have started your position at even though you can buy a heavier part of your position in the 46s 45s and ride it back up to 88 do the math on that very close to a double up and that's what i mean guys this play will still double this play will still do phenomenal things but you got to make sure that your strategy on how you build out what you do for those of you that's trying to get in this get in on this for the first time or get in on this after a rinse and repeat whatever you doing okay i just want to continue to encourage you do what you're doing but have a plan for what you're doing okay so listen guys dollar cost averaging is what that would be in terms of how you build out your Shiba Inu. That's the safest and probably the most most effective strategy if you wanna play something that's as volatile with this. It got a bunch of negative catalysts, it got a bunch of positive catalysts, and it got a bunch of uncertainty. You add that up, it makes for a volatile stock. But if you part of the Shiba Army, you're in it for the long haul, you're in it for the right reasons, you're in it because you believe in it, and that's why I wanna encourage you guys to build out your positions the right way accumulate your tokens the right way okay let's get ready to eat now on to some easy money plays for next week guys ticker symbol lcid kicks us off with our first easy money play on the weekend it's currently sitting at 41 dollars 66 cents it finished out friday up over 12 and a half percent on the week it was up another four percent and on the month it's up nearly 80 percent that's the power of these plays making a comeback. But guess what? This play even has a little more room to run. I want you guys to partake in it, whether you swing trade it, whether you consider options on it, whatever you choose to do, I want you to, again, first go look at the chart so that you can see why this has a little more room to run. And then two, I want you to decide where you want to 
establish your position at okay of course i'm going to give you guidance i'm going to tell you exactly where you want to get in at but you want to start beginning to kind of realize these things for yourself on the journey okay and the next one guys is prog ticker symbol p-r-o-g currently sitting at 3046 cent listen guys this play has a lot of potential and it has a lot of future potential beyond it just being a shorter term play yes we are about making money around here that's part of what the 100k challenge is about growing your portfolio from zero to 100k so, so for some of you it might be zero to 10k or some of you might be zero to 25k zero to 50k or whatever your number was okay however with a play like prog you can do two things with this you can make a lot of money in the shorter time period we already hit a home run in this from two dollars to four dollars but I'm trying to tell you guys, and hopefully you have done a little bit of your digging and due diligence over the weekend, or continue to, this play has positive long-term potential that you guys might want to consider this one over time. Maybe not at this level, but as you continue to see it get above $4, and when it hits around $8, Start thinking about this as a longer term hold that can really produce huge returns for you down the road, okay? But in terms of easy money play, guys, please have this on your radar come Monday and just throughout the week, okay? Some days it takes a nap, some days it's rocking and rolling. Keep it on your radar so that you can be a part, so you can see the levels it goes to, to see kind of where the new supports are forming at so that you can be part of it and so that you can make sure that you are taking part in some of the run-ups that it has okay listen guys i hope that was helpful i hope all of that gets you going on your saturday morning but listen now it's time for our word of the day and our word of the day is dca listen guys as i alluded to earlier dca otherwise known as dollar cost averaging is nothing more of an investment strategy of simply buying at different increments okay so for example say a stock is a hundred dollars okay a dollar cost average approach to investing is simply put you guys would buy five shares at a hundred dollars okay you might buy five shares at 105 dollars you might buy five shares at 95 dollars okay you add those three different purchases up as you build out your 15 share position and then that helps you get a balance of a median of all of that in terms of your average cost. You're not over leveraging yourself to one side or the other. You bought lower than 100, you bought slightly above 100, making your average cost possibly somewhere or maybe around 102, 103-ish so that you got the best of both worlds as this play now is sitting at 150. Now heads to 200, okay? Now your money is able to double but you didn't go all in at one time. You were strategic and methodical about building it. You might've had to demonstrate some patience. You might've had to make sure you had another payday come full circle so you can put some money on it. Whatever your case is, whatever your reality is, dollar cost averaging helps you kind of just buy in at different levels so that you're not going all in at one price. Say you got in at 105 and you went all 15 shares at 105 now the stock has a consolidation period for three months and it's sitting at 92 and you looking like man i'm down 13 dollars in this when you could have just bought some at 92 bought at 95 bought at 100 bought at 105 and now you got a mix of it all okay that is dollar cost averaging at its finest that is what a lot of us retired wealthy individuals have done over time over long periods of time which is helps you just slow and steady building growing and you'll be surprised the returns you get on your money okay but listen guys if you guys have questions or comments leave them below i'll grab them and add them to my next video listen we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey do me a favor don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll see you all in the next one